So it's been a little while since I have uploaded for you guys, but I am still here and uh, still jailbreaking. As you guys can probably tell, I got the 12 Pro Max. This device is pretty insane. I wanted to upload for you guys because it's been so long and I wanted to give you guys a jailbreak update video so you guys know where the jailbreak stands on iOS 14. And plus I would like to kind of make my return here to you guys to the regular uploading again, 2020 has been one hell of a crazy year, but I am still here and still alive and kicking through it. So, um, you know, I just want to get back to the normal kind of stuff for you guys. But anyways, as you can tell, I got the 12 Pro Max. This thing is an absolute monster of a phone. I actually really, really, really like it. Of course, I always liked every new iPhone that's come out, uh, but this one is you know, a little special to me because it brings back that um, iPhone 5S style straight edges, which I absolutely loved. And uh, I think it goes so well with this huge Pro Max and having the edges squared off and it all being stainless steel and all that. But uh, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that I want to update you guys on the jailbreak and where it stands. I actually haven't seen very many videos of anybody giving any kind of jailbreak update videos. So I wanted to let you guys know what is going on and what I think. So obviously iOS 14 is out now. And uh, for anything that's iPhone um, 11 or newer or 10s, sorry, anything 10s and newer, there is no current jailbreak for on iOS 14. And I'm going to give you guys my opinion. So I guess we'll just jump into Chrome here. And this is the security content of iOS 14.3. Now, sadly, this 12 Pro Max, um, when I got it, came out of the box with 14.2, which really sucks. But it is what it is, so I actually have it up to date to 14.3 right now. But if you guys did update from 14.2 to 14.3, don't worry. 14.3, um, from what I can tell, didn't patch anything that could be used as a jailbreak. There's no kernel-level vulnerabilities uh, nothing from what I can tell from the security content that could be used for a jailbreak. But if we jump over to iOS 14.2, this is where it's the juicy stuff. If you guys are below 14.2, I would highly recommend to stay there. Um, luckily, my 10s Max is actually on 14.0, and I'm going to keep this device there just in case there is a jailbreak released uh, for anything 14.0, um, basically anything below 14.2, because 14.2 had some uh, kernel level exploits that were patched within the firmware. Application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. That's the big one. That's the that's the good kernel patch right there. That is what can be used for a jailbreak. And like I said, that was what was patched within 14.2. So if you're below it, there could be a jailbreak um, going off of that exploit in the future. Um, but as of right now, there's currently nothing. <laughs> but if you guys are on the iPhone 10 or older, of course, you can always jailbreak those devices with check rain. Like my 7 Plus is currently jailbroken with check rain on 14.2. I'm pretty sure they're bringing support to 14.3 as well. Like I said, if you have an iPhone 10 or older, you can always jailbreak those devices with check rain because it is a hardware based uh, jailbreak or exploit that is used. So you can always jailbreak them. No matter the firmware, you just got to wait for CheckRain to be updated for that firmware, so that's pretty cool. But as it stands, guys, the best iOS 14 firmware to be on is below 14.2. So if you're on 14.0, I would definitely stay there and wait, especially if you want the jailbreak, because that's likely where a jailbreak could come for that version of iOS 14. For 14.2 and up, it's looking kind of unlikely right now, so hopefully... Um, you know, an update in the future by Apple will actually patch some more kernel um, level kind of stuff, which would make it possible to jailbreak it. But that's where it is, where it stands, guys. Uh, if you guys want this wallpaper, I'll leave the link down in the description. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.